going to hear a story today uh, that is going to change the way you think about your life. It's going to change the way you think about the people around you in your life. This is a story about the most sought-after nanny in a neighborhood. She was an all-American girl, 23 years old, as cute as can be. Moms trusted her, and their kids adored her. But while the kids were sleeping, her secret life took over. to a doorbell camera, stop now. This revolutionary, affordable, subscription-free mini security camera is disrupting the video surveillance industry in the US. This compact magnetic camera can be easily attached to any surface, making the installation as simple as sticking the camera anywhere you want. Whether you're a qualified electrician or a housewife with no prior knowledge of electrical items, setting up spy focus is a breeze. This groundbreaking invention was developed by two former engineers who worked for a leading home security company. Frustrated with the outrageous costs imposed by security companies for video surveillance equipment, Daniel and Thomas decided to create a game-changing compact camera with advanced technology to address this issue. Their vision was to offer a superior home security solution at a fraction of the price, without any installation costs, maintenance fees, or hidden charges. After years of dedicated development and countless prototypes, they finally unveiled their creation to the public. Unlike traditional doorbell cameras that are fixed and limited in their range, Spy Focus offers incredible security benefits and boasts features such as enhanced LED night vision, wide 150 degree viewing angle, remote live feed, two-way audio communication, full HD live video, and more. Best of all, you have complete control over these features right from your smartphone or computer. Daniel and Thomas's mission was to design an affordable, low-maintenance security camera that would be incredibly user-friendly and suitable for any home or office. And they succeeded. Spy Focus comes with a magnetized base that sticks to any surface, making it easy to hide. Stick it to walls, fridges, garages, or even carry it with you on the go. No cables or batteries required. Installing Spy Focus is a breeze, requiring just four simple steps. First, download the app, then scan the QR code with your cell phone to establish a connection to your Wi-Fi. Finally, stick it anywhere in the desired location and you're all set. In less than a minute, you can monitor your surroundings from your cell phone or computer. With the rise in break-ins, package thefts, nosy neighbors, and vandalism, having a reliable home security camera has become essential. Now this is a fantastic opportunity to enhance your security. We are offering an exclusive 50% discount for a limited time, allowing you to purchase Spy Focus for a fraction of its real value at an unbeatable price. Plus, the founders of Spy Focus are so confident in their product that they are offering a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
no questions asked. If you're not completely satisfied, simply return the product within 30 days for a full refund. This exceptional offer is subject to change or withdrawal at any time. So act swiftly. Don't miss out on this incredible deal. Click the link in the description of this video to visit the official website and order Spy Focus at a 50% discount. My past guest, Joni, a uh, former addict herself, is here today. Uh, she spent weeks documenting uh, Stephanie with her camera and then sent it to us. Uh, Rebecca and another mom, also named Stephanie, hired our guest, Stephanie, to watch their children. Uh, she is the mom who called Joni looking to see if she could help in some way. Uh, what's your reaction to watching your cell phone tape. It's unreal. Um, <laughs> sometimes I can't even believe that. I'm like, that's me. Like, you know, sad. Why did you agree to come here? Why, what did you mean, if you even remember, saying at the end of the tape, Dr. Phil, help me? Because I really want help. I need help badly. That's that person you saw in the videos, I'm ashamed of that person. That's not who I am. I'm better than that. I just, I have this disease that I know, I've come to terms with it and I, you know, I want to fight it. I want that devil in me to be gone. So, moms, uh, you're hearing some things here that y'all didn't know before, right? Partially. Did, did you wonder if, um, Maybe that's been going on while she was watching your children? Not at the time, but now we wonder. That's what I mean, now, yeah. as you look yeah, back. Yeah, at the time, but now, yeah, that was... She, she definitely never seemed like she was using during when she was watching the kids now, when she went to bed and my husband and I would come home. I, maybe I didn't take too much notice of her personality, or I didn't want to. Yeah, back when I was babysitting, yeah, you know, when I, uh, I was using pills, not, not necessarily when I was with the kids. There have been times when the kids have gone to bed and I took a couple pills. So what have you done today? Um, Be very, very careful. I asked you a question. You better tell me the truth. I'm gonna you tell don't you know the truth. what I know. I'm a very honest person. You don't know what I know. At, at, at some point, you're just going to have to understand that you're just gonna have to be honest with me because the way to tell when you're lying is if your lips are moving, right? You'll lie about anything, anywhere, and that's part of this addiction. This is a time, if you want a chance to try and live, try and get your life back, you need to tell the truth about everything I asked you. And believe me, I am a human lie detector, and you jack with me and you'll be gone before you know it. I don't put up with any of that bull, and you just need to know that from me right up front okay? okay so you need to think about that when i ask you the question what have you done today 
Today I shot Spoxin and came here. Where, where'd you get the needle? Um, the pharmacy. I, uh, you just go there and say, hey, I need a 10-pack, one cc, insulin syringe, please. And I'll give you a pack. Okay, so where did which where'd you go to a pharmacy? You you left your hotel this morning early. I actually I packed it in my bag. Okay, so you brought it here. Okay. You came to see me about your drug addiction, and you brought drug paraphernalia with you so you could shoot up before the show. Well, I did, or else I would have been sick. Uh huh. Yeah, and and Suboxone is it is an opiate, and it's often used to get off of heroin. Uh, but you can get high on it. It's not as good, but you can get yeah. high on it. Some of the times, like me, I do not get high off Suboxone, but uh, say you, if you were to do Suboxone, it would knock you on your butt. Yeah. Because yeah. your life's been unraveling in the last year, true? Yeah. How many times have you been to jail last year? About four or five. Four or five times in the last year? Yeah, yeah. yeah cause you shoot up. I, I noticed, why were you, you're actually shooting up in your breast now. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, you stab yourself in your veins so many times and you blow that vein out. It just goes flat and you can't use it for a while. Um, yeah. Where do you usually shoot up? Right there, along here. All right here. Yeah, I got some pretty bad scars. Yeah. You say you're addicted to the needle itself. You say you love watching a needle go in your arm, the blood squirt up, it's a rush. Yeah, it does become a thrill. It's like, you know, I don't know, every junkie, I hate that word junkie, but yeah, we like sticking needles in our arms. Why do you hate that word? Because it's disgusting, it's degrading, it's not something I want to be. All right, next, we're going to find out what's going on with Stephanie's mom, Kim. Does she have anything to do with this drug problem? We'll find out when we come back. My daughter has been making bad choices since the age of 12. I don't blame myself for Stephanie's choices. It's Today we're talking to 23-year-old Stephanie. She says she had everything going for her. She was a great nanny, babysitting, aspiring singer, had plenty of friends. But all of that went down the drain two years ago when she was introduced to crack and heroin. Now, her mom, Kim, says that she's tried everything to save her daughter's life, even keeping her locked up in her home. My life as a mother to Stephanie, my drug addict daughter, has been very emotional and scary. I'm well medicated to cope with this. I need a drink. <laughs> Anyone like a drink? My daughter has been making bad choices since the age of 12. Stephanie started drinking Nyquil at 12, and then she started smoking with pot, and then it led to cocaine, and I don't know if she did the crack first or the heroin first. Stephanie came to me one evening and said, Mom, I have a date with my friend to do heroin. And I said, Stephanie, please don't do it. All I've heard is nothing but bad things. And then she did come to me and say, Mom, I did try it, but I didn't like it. And I was like, Phew. Thank God. Then she came to me like two days later and said, Mom, I love it. I did it again. And I'm like, oh, my God, Stephanie. And I tried to get her to stop using, but there was really nothing I could do. Why is your hand look swollen right there? Yes, I shot drugs and missed. Excuse me. I don't know anything about this. <gasps> Stephanie did not listen at all to me. But when was a child ever listening to the parent? <laughs> Stephanie, all to get her drugs, has stolen stores, been arrested, she danced at strip clubs, and stole money from my mom. She took $20 out of Heather's pocket, but yeah. <gasps> Stephanie! Stephanie is living back home with me right now. I tried to hold Stephanie captive so she won't get drugs, but she gets mad at me anyway and leaves. 
worst seven he's been through hell. When Stephanie was 12, a family member molested her repeatedly while I was working nights. When Stephanie told me about it, I mean me, I didn't believe her. So I believe her now. I've been married four times. I, I have four children. I'm married to a younger man, Robbie is 26. Stephanie knew Robbie before I did. Oh, my. You know, I knew her first before brother. Right, Robbie, you need to go there. Robbie, you know, they were just friends. I don't blame myself for Stephanie's choices. I've always been there for Stephanie. My greatest fear is getting that phone call in the middle night that Stephanie's dead. If my daughter doesn't get help, she will probably die. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do you believe that her life is at risk right now? Yes, I do. Because as she sits here, you know, as you look at her, she's just cute as she can be, and she's all fixed up, and you could put her in, in the audience, and uh, people wouldn't pick her out in a million years uh, as a heroin addict. I believe she, she will die without help. You're doing everything you can to help her. That's You've even I'm, locked her in your house, I'm right? <laughs> yes, I've locked her in, the, in my house. Are you part of the problem? Or is this something that you're trying to control instead of throw gas on? I don't think I'm part of her problem. I'm, I'm okay. here for her now to try and help her. So you're not part of the problem and, and you're here for her now. And you know, just a week ago, she brought a, she bought $120 worth of crack and shot up 50 bucks worth of heroin just a week ago. The next day, she smoked crack all night, did 30 bucks worth of heroin. You know that just know. within the last week. True? Joni, true? You've documented all of this, right? We have, yes. we have video documentation of it. You know that she's been to jail four times in the last year. I've gotten her out before. Big yeah. mistake. Should have left her in there. You, you said something that I thought was really interesting. You said, as evidence of how open the relationship was, that she came to you two days before she was going to go out and do heroin. She did, and I begged her not to. Didn't I beg you? I begged her not to. And that, that was two years ago? Yes. Okay, and you were how old? 21. Uh-huh. And you, you did what? What did you say to her? What did you do? I just told her, please don't try it, because I know it's a very addictive drug, and once you start, you can't come off of it. Yeah. So I've been told. Do you have a problem with drugs? Do you have a problem with alcohol? No. No problem with drugs or alcohol. No. Did you bring drugs with you on this trip? Prescription drugs. Uh huh. Did you did you take drugs this morning? I took a Xanax. Sorry, I was very nervous. You, you took a Xanax this morning. Did you give her any? No. Okay. Did she drink yesterday? No. Yes. I'm morning. sorry. Yes, she did. Oh, well, yeah. it was in the morning, so I know it's a long no. time ago. Yes. She drank yesterday yeah. morning. She did yesterday yeah. morning. She got very drunk before her airplane ride. Yes. Okay. She did. Okay. Did, did you drink with her? I had a Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary's a morning drink, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, isn't it? In, in, in your purse, you have morphine, Percocet, Ambien, and Xanax. You're carrying that with you because... Wait, what is it? Morphine, Ambien. Morphine, Percocet, Ambien, and yes. Xanax all in one bottle. You have morphine? Yes. Huh. You're not getting it. I just had back surgery. Well, you ought to be pain free. I don't take them all at once. What? I don't take them all at once. So you're taking, you, you've had back surgery, so you're having to take uh, morphine, Percocet, you've also got Ambien and Xanax, so you're taking those because they're prescribed. When I need them. Did you read anything on the bottle about not drinking? even though Bloody Mary is a morning drink about not drinking on top of those drugs? Well, I'm gonna get that answer from Kim when we come back. A real pro-family governor would protect our right to responsibly plan our families, not side with Says uh, Kim, 
is a very bad influence on her daughter, Stephanie. So I just wanted to look at some of the video evidence. Let's take a look. Mom, no, they're here filming me right now. I don't know, Mom. You stayed out getting drunk and didn't come home. We're just worried. I don't want to do this. I want to Oh, I thought you said you were going to be here for me. Growing up, I always saw my mother drunk. Oh, the bully bear? Sarah's been addiction to my killer. I have many struggles with drugs or alcohol. Saturday night, that's not a shot. That's a shot. A little more. A little more. Sarah, I'm not happy with this. Are you worried about her drinking vodka? Yes, I am. Yes. I know she has great vodka, but there's anything else. Okay, go ahead. I always worry about my mom because I don't want to see her screw up. Like, she at one point was at a real low point in her life. I'm just afraid of her reverting back to that. Sherry, you definitely didn't help that with Yes. Wow. I just I'm like, oh my god. Alright, help me help you.